Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Yuri, also known as Terlord. This is another part of my educational, educational League of Legends streams. We are be playing top lane. Currently we are sitting at Platinum 2. And those who have been following me from the previous streams, as you can see, I haven't done any offline games since the past stream. Last game we won as Pantheon. Quite a good victory. This game we will going to see who will be who will be picking. So okay, we are platinum two. Let's see how much points we have. Seventy-eight points. Which means one victory will bring us to promotions. Good to know that. It's always good to have a decent win-loss score, at least at the beginning of the season. So we are going straight to first rank game with top first, mid second. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, I've been playing this game well, for pretty much 9, 10 years or so. And that's why I've decided to stream the game that I played so much. Uh, try to teach uh, viewers uh, who are interested in uh, this uh, game. Whether you are an advanced player or a total newbie, I'm totally okay with that. It doesn't matter. Also, I want viewers to have fun during my streams, to not get bored. That's why I'm going to be interacting with chat from time to time. Also, I'm going to be focusing on the game. Uh, my uh, primary focus will be uh, educate the viewers, educate myself, uh, try to fix the CSing issue that I have for a long time, and uh, so on and uh, so forth. Now, you can agree or disagree with the stuff I will be saying, it's totally okay, I'm not uh, super professional at this game, I'm slowly and steadily climbing my way through season 10. The season started roughly around, like what, a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, probably. So we still have a whole year of grinding, well, grinding. I do not really want to grind super hard, I just want to play for fun and uh, for educational purposes. Because if you do not enjoy what you're doing, then you should switch to something that you will be enjoying. Otherwise, there is no point. I would like uh, to also point out uh, that we will be playing top as our primary role. Now, currently in League, uh, this role is the least impactful. Even support has more impact on the game than top laners. Uh, but it's more of a heavy action focused uh, lane where you would be always one v one Quite a long wait on our first match. Hero grinding, season 11 should be named like this. Well, maybe, pretty much. Uh, 
Now as we are waiting for our game, I would like to say that I'm going to be a sort of narrating and explaining uh, stuff uh, when I will be in the game or post game. I will try to analyze uh, mistakes that I made uh, so that you would see what you should have done, what you shouldn't have done, and so on. Education comes first. Uh, rank points are gonna come afterwards. We ban Fiora. Fiora is banned primarily because first I'm playing Bruisers. Top lane and uh, Fiora is stomping them quite hard. Okay, so let me see. I'll pick something. I'll pick Darius. They will regret now I'm a bit rusty currently because I haven't uh, played in a couple of days. That's why. For warm up, I need uh, a champion that's not that skill focused. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get bombarded by counter picks or range tops. This is going to be quite sad. As in terms of runes, we are going to wait and see what they will gonna pick. Hmm. Wow, quite a heavy AD focused team on our side. And a Riven. In terms of if it's Riven, and it probably is a Riven top. I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, conditioning. Here we are going to go with this. This and attack speed. Hopefully it saved. It didn't. Oh boy. Okay. Will we play safe or aggressive against Riven? And Darius does not uh, beat uh, Riven aggressive. In aggression, he will not going to outperform her. My job will be mostly... The problem with Riven and the way if she's a good Riven, the way she's gonna play, she's gonna... go in your face with like E stun combo and then back off. Yeah, and I have wrong runes. Okay. So it's save lane, I believe. In the case where it's a save lane. 
we're gonna go safe. Let's see. Yeah, that's really bad. Like, shield bash, I have no shields. Should have changed runes earlier. Yeah, pretty much it. Minions have spawned. Slow and steady game. So as Darius, you would primarily level up first max Q, then max E. And in terms of items, Yeah, so we leashed here. Uh, she probably will going to war somewhere here. I'm going to level up Q just to get those minions. Yep. Now I have Biscuit and I have... Of my stuff, yes. Yeah, so she is using her Q to maneuver. Riven is a heavy skill cap champ, but with very high outplay and carrying potential. Like, really high. If you main this champion, uh, she's quite good. But as you can see, we are focusing more on the CS. I'm not... Yeah, so as you can see, she goes in, stuns you and runs away. And pretty much she can do it in one... In one sort of a uh, move. Enemy jungler was in our bot site and got killed. Which means transfer buffs to Lucian. Yeah, we are starting to poke her a bit. And building a CS lead, which is also really nice. And with Darius bleed, um, basically, I believe... Yeah, your grasp is easy to stack. Yeah, she isn't doing that much, but she isn't far farming either. I missed one minion. I believe I missed only one minion. Let's start proccing our grasp, because we can. She's not that super aggressive. Let's not miss cannon minions. I usually tend to miss them. This time I won't. Improve upon my mistakes. Now Echo is again bot side, which means I shouldn't be really scared of jungler. Yeah, her her Q hitbox is kind of abysmal. And yeah, let's back away. We got gold. First item we are going to be building is Juggernaut Fist. No, not Juggernaut, Jarims. 
And TP straight back to lane. Okay, the top is missing. Against Riven it's a good idea to build sort of HP and defense. Now because we are also a bruiser we need to keep a close eye on having damage as well as tankiness. Because next item I will be just straight up going for I, did, uh, I believe Cleaver. Now Riven did not use her TP. She will have TP advantage. And the wave is slowly pushing and I still have minion advantage. Now we both are level 6. Let's push this in. Now she will not gonna be able to set up a freeze. She will just gonna push. Let's see. Yeah, it's a cannon wave. That means we can actually... No, she stopped our back. I was thinking about just going back. Yeah, now that's a good trade, as you can see. It's either she will go in or not and depending on that you can actually play around yeah so we have 10 CS lead and the CS lead is expanding we haven't missed any cannon and we still poke her Yeah, but we missed now some minions, which is not that good. And once again, we are building a wave in. Now it's a completely different approach from how I usually play against Riven. Okay, let's build this. And let's buy a ward. So now with such like amount of HP and items, I am quite tanky and she cannot burst me down. I hope she won't. Or Olaf managed to win back and we also saw Echo top lane. Which means Dragon is kind of safe. Maybe not. Oh boy. Okay, let's focus on... Let's ping that Riven is missing. Okay. Okay, so she's uh, clearing the top side pink ward. That all aft placed. Now I specifically just picked. Uh, usually you just go with straight up phage first item, but I decided to take this item, Jerem's Fist, primarily due to the fact that I need HP and I want to play it safe. Okay. I was a little bit slow on that grab. Alright, we took Ocean Drake, but our Olaf died. Which is kind of good, although this guy is getting fat, this guy is getting fat.
No, I'm still not tempting to just go and straight up fight her. And there is actually no point. She missed a cannon, which is perfectly... Like, we may not fight her, but we are denying her farm really hard. Alright, in 40 seconds we are going to have our TP. Now I'm gonna ping that she is missing because she probably will just gonna try to TP. Go away and TP. She won't gonna TP in when I'm near. Uh, at 12 we are having our boots, that's why we are going Phage, and we are going this, and for another ward. And also uh, keep in mind that if you want to go back and buy, uh, do it when the cannon minion arrives. You can see when the cannon minion uh, is going uh, to pop up. Simply by looking at your own wave. Because the position and stuff is equal on both sides of the map. Alright, so she is missing. Now I'm quite tanky, I have already 2000 HP. All right, she bought Ninja Tabby. Kinda. Well, because our team is uh, heavily auto attack focused. All right, so it's a fight right now. Now our Olaf is kinda dead. Oh boy, I messed up. I wanted to get five stacks and just... Just smash them there, but nope. Not today. Turret plating will soon fall. Okay, so... Turret plating will fall soon, but neither me nor Ivan managed to... Yeah, well, I had the idea of getting five stacks and just flash on all of them at once. Proking my... Five bleed on everyone. But I only had four. That tower. Wow, 1560 damage from tower. Yikes. Could have could have played better, but as you can see, it is what it is. Mountain Drake is up, and I will probably just save my TP for that. I'll also get my uh, cleaver. No, I'm tempting to just buy boots. No, I'm gonna go cleaver. I do not tolerate cowardice. Now I do not have ulti, which is uh, the thing to keep in mind. Wow. All right. 
right? She does quite a big amount of damage. This, this. <sighs> this is unfortunate. Because apparently 2200 HP is not even remotely close to surviving Riven. This is so strange. It's not just ultimate, it's just it's just the fact that uh, yeah. I keep forgetting that I shouldn't fight at all. This is so unfortunate. Well, I keep having a CS lead, but now she's starting to become a bit of a problem. And now Rosette is trying to kill Echo for some reason. Alright, alright. So I almost took her out. And I believe she wasted her TP previously, which means we are just going to go back. Unfortunately, we'll probably... Okay, we got the first tower now, it doesn't really matter. Now we go with this, and we go start to build this. Now they are really... Well, they are half a PAD, so building some, just something isn't really... Okay, she doesn't have an ult. No, I cannot catch her, whatever. Let's go back. Okay, she is missing. She's gonna be taking my ward from here. Wow. This is madness. The madness that you can witness because... She keeps stunning me, but the duration of the stun is so long that I cannot... Cannot even use skills there. And she has her ult again. This is... 
Ooh, quite a huge CDR, 43%. I believe in 5 to 10 seconds she will gonna have her ult again. This... this champ. Okay, we have to just push it. She's going back, so it's a stuff that you need to play around. Yeah, also not miss. Okay, she's back. She's back and building Karm Pen. Wow. I'm really far ahead of her and she's still managing to do that. How unfortunate. So I'm going to clear this wave and just go back. Once again, I'm gonna miss a couple of cannon minions. Oh, Cassidy and Echo are starting to get fat, which is another problem. Alrighty. We are actually going to do this. Wow. Have they forgotten about the fact that she can actually jump through walls and stuff? Sadly, I don't really have... Yeah, he managed to steal the red buff, but... Yeah, quite, quite a problematic. Hmm. And I don't have any reliable source of magic resistance which means that Echo and Cassidy will going to obliterate me I mean HP helps and I almost have like 3000 my next item after Asterix is going to be Actually, I, I I think Spirit Visage for healing and HP and CDR. And I really hope that it will actually going to help. Okay.
Cassian will just clear them up. And if you're going to leave Riven, just split pushing. This will not gonna be a good thing also. Okay, let's go back. But unfortunately, like the minus of having big amount of health is that they have Vayne and the game starts to go towards a point where she is starting to build her third item which is probably going to be Phantom, uh, Phantom Dancer this means that being a tank will not gonna help me We have to just stop them from doing Baron. Not engage a fight, but to stop them. Until our Z is up. And we need to stall the game. Also, bar when full tank. Which is not the typical that you see on Bard. But I think that it works now, sort of. And we are not getting any Drakes whatsoever. Wow. As you can see, yeah. Our Z cannot really play around it. Yeah. It's not like it was a fed vein, it was four three six vein. But yeah. Stuff like this happens. So we are going towards Spirit of Sash. We probably gonna lose this inhibitor. Probably should have just flashed there while I had my passive and stuff. Because with Flash ulti, I could have just uh, killed Riven with my stacks. No, I'm not gonna chase her. It's kind of pointless. She has even more CDR. And they are threatening us with doing Baron, and they have resources to do it really fast. Your team has destroyed a and now, since I do not have TP... We have to kill Vayne. Wow. Okay. I got gotcha. you. No. This is a loss. Whatever. Uh, that 5% nerf on Cassidy uh, movement speed into 5. Minus 5 on Cassidy movement speed. Uh, it's a uh, really workout as you can see. Uh, literally unplayable champ, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. 
That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna forfeit it. Well, unfortunate first game. Anything can happen. So... Can't really do anything against it. All right. Uh, so far, as you can see, like we uh, withstand our laning phase, we managed to get pretty like pretty good CS lead and gold lead in general. Uh, but just as I said, top lane is not the role from where games are decided. Top lane just exists. It exists, but it it won't gonna do anything. Like. That's that's simple. You just exist. But whatever. As we are going to go for a second match, we are going to review some of the mistakes. Uh, first of all, the fact that their team was crowd control focused, AP uh, heavy with a uh, true damage AD carry with a uh, Riven against uh, whom if you will not gonna build HP and uh, armor. Um, against Riven in lane, I had to stack HP, I had to stack defense, and even though I did it, I still went in very close, very close one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Also, First thing first, I um, picked a wrong set of runes, so that's also that. But yeah, I had to when uh, I had to build armor and HP, and because I built it HP, Vayne could easily destroy me, and because I built it armor, I couldn't do anything against Cassidy or Echo. And because they had so much crowd control and I had ninja tabby, I had no tenacity, well that that that's the problem, like so many little pieces they just come in together. I'm not gonna mention teammates, like it's not my job, like whatever. I'm gonna mention myself. So it's, like because there isn't like yeah, people will feed and stuff. You can do anything about it. Do your best and hope that you will win because there isn't such thing that you will be just one v nine. No, especially not in top lane. If you want a one v nine lane, go mid, go jungle. Top lane is not 1v9. It's impossible to carry a game solo from top lane nowadays. But yeah, um, as you can see, like Cassiopeia, she can either be top or mid. But it seems like it's mid. She's mid. Yeah, we again need a tank. I'm just gonna go with Darius again, but now I'm going to be switching runes. Um, Aftershock... Yeah, those uh, ran rankings are... I don't know for whom, I don't know who made them. 
Especially, I will, will not gonna believe them since I already faced a situation where S Camille, who is supposed to be S rank, I got myself a Soraka top and got demolished by her. So, yeah. S tier, huh? Yeah, let's do overgrowth and second wind. So we are jumping into our next game. In our next game we are going to be facing more top lane. With Jarvan Jungle. Supposedly Yeah, it's arms. And he, Ramos is really good working into champions like probably Ash. Well, here he most likely is good against Ash. The only auto attacker that is there. I mean, judging by a team comp, I don't know how Victor does these days. Judging by team comp, we can win. We absolutely can. I believe they don't even have plans to fully rework him. They said themselves that, I believe, well, Fiddle and uh, of Olibir will going to come out, and then there will be no reworks for the rest of the year. Because apparently it takes them one year to rework a champion. Which is not true at all. Especially if you look at the past seasons. Where you had reworks for Pantheon, Akali, Kale, Morgana in one year. And probably even more. Okay, we are going into this game. Let us actually buy this, this, and this. I haven't seen Victor in a while. I believe they are going to be buffing him. Yeah, just from like from in terms of the reworks that I remember during 2019, they done Kale, Morgana, Akali, Pantheon. Oh, there was also pro I believe there was also Nunu in the same year. So yeah, one rework per year. And what will they do for the rest of the year? So 
So yeah, let's just focus on farming. Now we are slowly pushing. And we are going to get level 2 first. We grab ourselves an E. Yeah, I'm actually interested to see like their other projects. Leak needs a I don't know. It was in stagnation state, but I believe it needs rebuilding or leak classic or something. Because so much things has to be redone. Okay, we I missed a cannon again, which is... Okay. Thank you, cannon minion, for blocking that. Okay. We are just slowly pushing him in. Although I don't want him to just freeze. I'm slowly pushing this in, well, constantly pushing him. Okay, he has no hook. That's good. When he procs this thingy of his, his W, I believe, uh, my idea is that you have to disengage, because I don't know how it works. It just does so much damage. Weirdly. It's like weirdly. One one time you think you have it and then and then you lose it. He probably wants to go for that cannon. But I'm gonna deny it. Let's push this in, and let's go back. Oh, actually... He's again, he's setting up a freeze. And he tries to hook, uh, hook me into the tower range. Okay, I got Phage. I'm just gonna go away. So once again, we build we build up a CS lead, and it's a cannon cannon wave. We are going back when the cannon wave arrives. Let's go with Phage, and let's actually just run to our lane. Do not use a TP because nothing is happening there. He will most likely going to do the same. Okay, this this is not good. I have my order. Here I believe it is actually better to just go for Trinity Horse. Or maybe not. Wow. Disaster happens bot lane, as, as usual. I 
I believe he will going to build on this item. He's going for probably Zonia first. Now I'm denying him quite a good chunk of farm. Sadly, he's still getting XP though. No, 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 no. I want to deny him this cannon. Yes, I did it. My plan was just simply to deny him a cannon. Jarwin will probably go for a scuttler. Oh. Hmm. Unfortunate. Enemy meat has priority there. And since I have no flash, they might set up a gank. So once again, as you can see, not too much is happening in the top lane. We are slowly getting our items. Okay, he's building armor. Which is actually... Probably good. Well, let's see. Let's buy this. Okay. Well, there is no point in TPing, but... Yeah, and the war disappeared. So I'm still up in CS. I decided to go for a black lever. Wow. So that whole damage was just from his... Okay, I'm um, as I said, like I don't know how his damage works, but I know that I'm gonna miss another cannon minion, and Bat is done for. Better to use Shen from time to time. Oh, you can. It's actually not not the not the worst idea. I'm doing damage to him, but... Once again, it's more of a maintain lead that's supposed to go towards something. Unfortunately, we'll probably go towards another loss. 
And we lost the first tower. Yep. Okay. Gonna have to buy this. And a ward. It would also be good if they could have shut down Cass. Well, I got my lead on him in terms of CS, but this guy has, uh, has equalized it uh, by getting plates. Yeah, it's once again just... yeah. Well, I'm not... not really... Yeah, and as you can see... It doesn't matter that I hit him with four Qs there. And he wasn't even standing in my face. That's uh, that's more for you. I don't know, like... Uh, personally, I have no luck fighting against Mort. I cannot simply understand why I cannot do damage to this guy. I just have no idea. Doesn't even have that much armor. Nor HP. Yet he just beats me. Oh well. It is what it is. We are going to push this in. And Jarvan now comes top because there is nothing to do in mid, there is nothing to do in bot. Well, fortunately we are starting to get somewhere. But unfortunately my whole lead against Mort is now gone. And it's quite, quite sad. Still working my way towards Black Cleaver. And now he has Zonias and building Rylice. Which means now we won't be able to even scratch him.
Okay, let's move towards mid lane. We're probably gonna lose it. Wow. I'm not gonna even participate in that. Yeah. Okay. No, it's... <laughs> Funny. Funny and at the same time it's sad. Because here I did mistakes, team did mistakes, made mistakes. From this situation, what you need to do is actually stall game out. In before that actually worked. And try to get as much gold as possible. Even from being behind, you still have to seek opportunities. Grab like killed here or there. Oh, they actually killed Mort, and we can now drop Rift Herald top. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna buy this because their team is heavy AP focused. Somehow we are stuck. Like, we are still managing to... to do something. Somehow. I wonder when will this luck going to end? Okay, Caitlyn is dead, pretty much. Wow. She still managed to almost kill him. Oh. Glacial Augment and... Don't come to me. Oh well. Oh, it's TP from Cass, and I cannot stand there. Oh well, guess the luck ended. <laughs> yeah. There's just so much crowd control and range damage 
Continuing with Merc Threats. It's still impossible to get out from all those roots, slows. Okay, now they are probably going towards Baron. Baron and then third Drake. Yeah, more attacking as a bait there. Just wow. This boy, oh boy, is... Why would you... En no, seriously, why would you engage it there? This is actually impossible because support, enemy support is a triple killing our team. R uh, Ramos engaged in a 4v5 situation there with, with me having no HP. Oh well. We're still trying. Still trying. Still want to go for the Spirit Visage. And now our AD carry is dead again. And quite sadly, we don't even have wards. Because I believe pink ward, it's mine pink ward, and yeah, we don't even have like vision control over the map. Hey, little picks here and there. Still, you, you have to try. Why are you in... Wow. You really engaged in it. Wow. Well, now you see why it's uh, literally impossible to just play safe. This Ramos just... Why, why would you engage there? Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. We have to defend somehow. Yeah, it's so cute. He's like, oh, okay. Well, we are not... We are not winning. Let me make the situation even worse, from where we could have possibly just won by engaging three fights straight, engaging in team fights where we couldn't even we were in group. I still need to farm. 
at least find some place where I can actually get gold. Yeah. We have zero wards, by the way. So it's pretty much impossible to know when they are doing something or where they are flanking. Now we need some armor. Just some armor. And the fourth Drake is up. Can can we actually afford We we cannot afford giving them four Drake. Uh, it's GG. So, yeah. We tried. We couldn't do it. Also, the thing about, like, as you can s could probably see that they were flaming whole game. Uh, just do not pay attention to the chat. Really, do not. Um, they will... They will not gonna listen or anything, so, yeah. Okay, into the next game. Yeah, it's pointless to type in chat. You waste time, you spread your attention willingly, unwillingly. Doesn't matter. You will not gonna achieve anything. You'll just get nervous. Like, we lost. Admit it. There's nothing you can do. Good old fashioned league where it doesn't matter. You do good, you will lose because teammates will going to drink you down. You do bad, you will lose because the same problem will going to happen. It doesn't matter. Like focus on on just just playing. Just play. Idea behind what's happening now and in previous, you could actually solo carry from pretty much all role except support, or maybe even support. Uh, nowadays, nah. They want this game to become like a team game in solo queue. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work in high elo. It doesn't work in low elo. No, just just play. Try to display like the best skill performance or at least good skill performance and don't go typing to your teammates. Do your thing. Also, in the last game, like, mistakes that I've made is first... I'm not comfortable against fighting, uh, fighting against Mort. And that's first. I have zero idea from where his damage output comes from. It's just his, he procs his 
aura and that's it. I don't know where he gets his tankiness. His aura is not supposed to give him tankiness. His aura is supposed to just damage and slow targets. Yet it it seems like he is on a whole different level of defense layer when his aura procs. I don't know. I missed quite a bunch of CS. And even and I overthrown my CS lead for trying to kill him. In which I wasn't even sure that I was going to kill him. So yeah, stuff like this happens. Happens from time to time. It's whether or not will you keep up or or not. Okay, we once again Van Fiora. For those of you who might be wondering why constantly just perma ban Fiora, a very strong champion against melee top laners, weak against range, very snowbally, hard to deal with sort of champion. And now this is interesting. This is actually really interesting. It's Camille top. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's actually do this. Not for all tournaments. Do they declare champions before they pick? Declaring or not, it's totally just, in my opinion, just for Solo queue, sort of, uh, because mainly, okay, they notch. Mainly, it's to sh uh, the idea is to show what you are going to pick, so that your teammates would know, instead of you saying that I want this, don't ban this. But most of the time in solo queue, it's like just a feature. It doesn't matter. They don't really care. It's just there to be there. And we are waiting, waiting and waiting. And while we're waiting, I'm going to say hi and welcome to everyone who is watching. Welcome to the stream. Enjoy your fun, hopefully fun and interesting League of Legends rank sets. Hopefully you will going to learn something a trick a trick or two or what to do and not to do in a certain situation uh. 
Uh, isn't this a main game type of thing? Like showing one champion to the enemy and then pick another? Well, if you mean... If you, like, declare here? On this screen. Well, this declare champion is there. Uh, they will not... Uh, enemy team will not see who you are declaring. They can only see champion that you are picking at the, fa at the peak phase. They cannot see... For example, right now they cannot see that this guy wants to pick uh, Misfortune. They cannot see it. Neither can we see what they are, what they have declared to pick. It's just feature for your own teammates uh, to know. Do you ban someone? Do not ban someone. There is little to none strategy involved in those pre peaking. So at least more this band. Kinda good to know. Yeah, and they have Silas. Oh, Nasus. I haven't seen Nasus. Nasus. Wait. Wait. I have an idea. Undisputed. I have an idea. Let's try something, something new out. Yeah, this should be good enough. We are going to test new champ. I know that you go with Max W. They have Ivern, his weirdest, weirdest skin. So as far as I believe, top lane is going to build the HP. Ivern might build HP and Leona might build HP. So my best bet is to just pile drive their tanks into the enemy team. But first, withstand laning phase. I just want to see what set is capable of. 
Now I know that the stuff that you built on him is just as basic. You go this cleaver. Um, what also then? Sterax, uh, Hydra. But probably you might even go with parts. Tiamat and then We'll see, we'll see. Let's not predict. Ivern is going to be roaming around the map a lot. And setting up ganks and giving free buffs. Alright. Doran shield is a good stuff. Throw a punch, right? so, I don't have time for so let's see, thirty percent movement speed. Next two basic attacks deal ten physical damage. Okay, so in fights. Try to do like if the, it's a close fight, do double auto attacks and then use Q. Yeah, when Ivern uh, kills a uh, jungle a jungle camp, red or blue, uh, he himself picks up a buff, and uh, another buff remains remains. Uh, at the place where he uh, killed the jungle camp. All words are fighting words. I should also not let uh, Nasus free stack because uh, he will he will beat uh, beat the entire team if you let him do it. Yeah, so you can do like four auto attacks with Sad. And remember that his second auto attack is faster and has more uh, more range. Okay. Now I'm almost level two. Almost. Okay, they can't really do anything to me because they both have no damage and Ivern was out of mana for some reason. Yeah, quite a good damage. But unfortunately I'm getting hit by those minions, pesky minions. Also, set his this bar called Grit. And what does it do? It basically empowers your abilities, especially your W, this gigantic shield that you're going to get. It's so good to have. I'm not gonna beat him there. But I'm just gonna slowly work on towers. As you can see, I can poke him. Slain. 
Not the most efficient way to stop Gnosis from farming. Okay, he's he has his Q. He probably wants to hit me with it. I have to stop just pushing him in like this. Because I have to stop him from farming. I stop him from farming there. Because I really do have to stop this guy. Yeah, I'm doing quite good chunks of amount of damage. I guess I have to hit him with more auto attacks. Okay, still unfortunate that they cannot really... I was so tempted to pile drive there, but the fact that uh, he can press his R while knocked up, I believe. Yeah, he wasted his TP. Think about Nessus, he will not gonna... Uh, he will not gonna TP into other lanes rather than his own. Alright, let's do this, let's do boots, and let's buy this. No deep wards in bot lane for me, unfortunately. Only here, but that's way too far away. Force fight with this guy. I ain't no half breed. I'm a full breed. Hmm. Yeah, even tried there to counter jungle. Let's take Dragon.
Let's take Dragon, let's take Longsword. Talon will gonna get this huge wave, which is good. Thing is, we can still beat Nessus. Or at least control him. Okay, push this in. Talon is getting ganked. Now he is getting his stacks. Okay, he starts to hurt. This is the part where you bleed. Okay. It's a good thing Nessus does not his does not have his R. But he yeah, he's stacking. Two hundred stacks already. Kinda unfortunate. Yeah, Nasus is going to be a problem, unless we just go and kill him. And that's finally something good. And that's good. I think he forgot that I have a full HP shield, pretty much. Well, that's really good. Now that, as you can see, it may seem like Sad does not have that much damage. It may seem like it. But this guy, oh boy, hurts, hurts like a truck. And since you also can do like auto attack, auto attack, and then Q to reset those auto attacks like this, you have four attacks to deal true damage. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Poor Nasus. Oh boy. He really did not expect that.
Well, it's still all of his skills that do percentage damage. He is not like over the top, but still, still a monster you have to deal with. As you can see, we buy this and that AD. Well, I want to. I want to have something against his crowd control. Let's take bot tower. If something I can actually just pile drive into. Good. Let's take this tower. Now those rotations on the map are really good. Oh no, we can actually just go. Just go forward and work on the second tower. Actually no, let's go back. Yeah, well, Bart is fine, and it, it's another Bart that builds full tank, yet still is capable of doing damage. Alright, buy this. So, enemy Nasus is scared of Talon. Our next item is going to be Sterex Gauge. And we have to help this team. Yay! They got one AD carry and we got three of them. <laughs> Let's take the tower. I really actually like starting to like set. Even though it's the first game, but boy is he fun to play. I don't really think that we can kill him. Okay. This Nasus is really greedy. I believe he flashed in there, or maybe not. Man, do they like to make gems that talk a lot. And yet still I'm missing cannons. Oh. Cannons missed, checked. Yep. Let me actually go towards base. By this. By a word. By... This trinket. The reason why I buy wards, they're just generally a good thing to keep you safe. Now we do it the other way around. 
But not only will you keep yourself safe, you can also prevent enemy team from doing those ganks sort of stuff. Alright, I believe Nessus is gonna stick top. I'm gonna have to help them. We'll let the Snasses do his thing. He will going to get this tower, which is well, he is playing a role of a Trindemir. Even if you don't have that much of stats, you still just try to be menacing. As you can see, I did insane amount of damage to him with my W. And it's not like he can avoid it. He cannot avoid it. He'll just gonna eat it. Place ward there. And let's actually go in, into a team fight. Easy. Boy, do I love Set. I can see his strong and weak sides. But he's so much fun to play with. We buy more HP. And we're actually gonna go towards bot. Now the reason why I bought Titanic, more HP plus my auto attacks and spells hit forward, so having something that we're gonna hit forward. Where do you think you're going, Nessus? He just got blown up. And just like I did. Well, they had it boarded. Hmm. Sadly. Okay, they wasted a lot of faults. Mm. Really need to start uh, start like just grouping up because we have means. We just need. need to focus up. Oh, still. It's still hit. Okay, good. Mama always said I had 
If a team fight is going to happen, I'm gonna have my ulti. But this Nessus... No, he's going to go back. Because it's a 4 Drake. So it's a 5 on 5 team fight that's going to happen. Still missing cannons. Alright, alright, I see. Wow. This is the worst team fight that could actually happen. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Why did they engage so blindly? They really just randomly engage there and it costs. It costs a dragon and a baron and a comeback from their side. Well, we have to defend now. There's not much we can actually do. Send someone split or just f everyone on defense. Nah. If it will not gonna be a 5v5, we are going to lose. No, we have to stick to the towers. Yeah, unfortunately our fat Talon cannot kill an AD carry. Ho oh, ho oh, ho. Oh. GG. It's over. I... Speechless. Literally speechless. Well, the point is... He has to set up those, at least like, he's still your tank. He is not a enemy team one-shotter unless they will group up. And I have no idea how such a fat Talon did absolutely zero against enemy AD carry. Literally, how? Impossible. Into the next game we go. Once again, like, during laning phase... 
it was for perfectly okay for me. Like I got with decent amount of kills, less farm, but with uh, more kills to compensate for that farm and assists. Yet it's pointless. As you can see, a top is not a carry role. It's impossible. Around 500. But it wasn't he who was the problem. It was such a bad team fight near the dragon when they almost killed Tristana, yet for some reason went into the fog of war, got flanked, got killed. Oh, I. I... Even I like did this flash behind Nasus to pile drive him, but there was no nowhere for me to throw him. Strange things. But yeah, Set Steel is a fun champ to play. I like his... his kit. It's not super wow, but it it's at least something interesting to play with. <laughs> Alright, so Diana, Jean Bard... Once again, it can be zoning, composition, and it can be engaging composition. Or even a pickup, because this guy roots, has his ulti, this guy also can root and he can slow. A Diana with uh, her engage and who is this? Yorick. Yorick. Nah, uh, it's actually, you know what? Let's do this. Base rush, Nimbus, Solarity Scorch, Taste of Blood, this. Yep. Should be good. I believe top lane is probably going to be... Yeah, Volibear. And with, with Vlad, I just going to sit and farm. If you go Vlad in general, you sit and farm. Sit and farm for as, as much items as possible. Uh, Yorick more AP. No, not AP. AD damage. Hmm. 
I wonder. No, I'm not gonna do this. Actually, let's do this. Seven hundred HP, level one. Oh, good thing. And I'm just gonna sit and farm. Because that's the whole strategy behind Vlad is you get still has his life steal from Ghoul. No, I believe he has no life steal at all. His ghouls are just a couple ghouls that are same HP, same stats, and that's all. Okay, start with Q. Yeah, uh, Volibear is late to lane. He's probably leashing, which means she started. She started uh, blue. Yep. Okay. That's a very questionable decision. Especially against me as a lad who will just gonna farm. And because she's probably gonna go for round two here. Yeah, I don't really care about it's not that I'm trying to kill this teddy bear. But more that I'm trying to just farm. Occasionally just hurt him just a little bit. Now my plan is simple, and as a Vlad your plan is really simple. You do not do that much damage in early, but boy do you scale into late game. Okay, so 21 to 17, not that bad. It's the thing is that none of us will going to kill each other. Well, for the majority of time. Unfortunately, I missed a cannon and didn't hit him with Empower Q. I procced his passive, which is good. Also, Volibear rework is incoming, and I still like the visual design of the old Volley. That you can see right now. Well, not the skin, but just the way he is. I got hit by several tower shots. Uh, 
I'm waiting for level 6. Yeah. That's that's kind of sad for him. There wasn't like nothing he could surprise me for and I can juggle tower aggro. And since he has his uh, Bami Cinder, which means he is going to be pushing. Okay, we got a huge amount of items. We are not going to TP there. Yeah, he's... You, you still have to push it. He already failed the uh, freeze. A vital decision. Yeah, uh, for some reason, oh, for some reason, for great reason and being just dumb. Why did I even went there? Wow. Okay, first Drake, uh, resistance this time. Which is always good. Okay, level up more in Q. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm not really that scared of him. I wanna get his passive, though. Unfortunate. Yeah, so Neil is top. Yeah. Fine, fine. I was saying about just farming, yet I'm constantly just trying to poke him down. Deliciously vain. An enemy has been slain. Okay, so now that we are back to lane, now that we got ourselves a proto belt, it's going to be a really good idea to just start farming. Continue farming. Yeah, he has boots now. How did he actually... 
No, 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 no. That doesn't work that way. No, 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 no. Aren't you supposed to be untargetable when you use your W? And why exactly wasn't I untargetable? Let's place a ward here. I mean, we are still Vlad and stuff. So, the longer the game goes, the stronger we are. No, this is, this is really weird. The way how he can just... Hmm. Now I can get back. Uh, the good old Ezreal gank. They still couldn't kill him. Why is Bard there? Well, thank god we at least gonna get something out of this madness. Alright, now let's work towards... Something like this. Well, it doesn't matter, we still got our first tower. How unfortunate. Really? Alright, let's push it then. Yeah, it is a close game. Unfortunately for me, it's not really close. I really have to at least put one or two points into W. It's still strange how he manages to just... Yeah, my tower is gone.
Yeah, good thing. Because I really need this experience and gold. And as soon as I say about gold, immediately I'm going to lose a cannon. This is starting to become a meme already. Alright, we are going to buy to actually go for Morello because they have two people with heal and Bard can also heal I maybe could have just not buy this but instead just not buy Protobel but go for Rylice Yeah, it's now at the stage of the game where he can just beat me like this. Unlucky. Oh boy, does it take a lot of time to kill him? I'm absolutely wow. He's tanky. Well, he isn't the worst, but isn't the best either. Kinda in between. Also, our Ezreal just rage quitted. Let's pool our hmm. Place. So it's a 4v5. Unlucky. I thought we were done with rage quitters. For a while. Well, perhaps not.
would really like to help team. Yeah. Once again, our front line is only trash. And they have quite... Quite a huge engage potential. So I got my Morales for the Grievous Wounds, that will reduce healing. Still 16 to 16. In terms of kills, we are neck and neck. But in terms of objective, not so much. And again, I missed it. What's wrong with those cannons? They are dying so unpredictably fast. another bard with dead man plate We were in the game, but now not so much. <laughs> okay. Props to bot, we were winning, but... Unfortunate. Oh well. Let's give an honor to Caitlyn. Mm, we are slowly but surely falling down. Uh, now I guess it's time to play something serious. Yes, we wasted enough time toying around. And last game it was actually a surprise for me that Volibear, even without the boots, was capable of... Even without boots, even slowed by my E, was capable to just run at me and use his flip.
Which, by the way, he can use his flip at the same time when I use my W, yet still flip me while I'm going to be in pool. That Every time you play League, you always see something different. Okay, so Trindemir is banned, Flat banned. So the band to Fiora, Cass, well, a lot of possible top laners get banned. Mundo. And Aphelios, Felios, and Cassidy. Wow, quite, quite a strong team they have. Not gonna lie. Oh, and bike for executes. All right, so Mundo Jungle, I really at top. Hmm. Let's go with Camille. Precision is the difference between a butcher and a surgeon. Let's go with Kami. This. Trevenous. Should be good. Now it's not going to be Mundo a top, even though he could. But he's his jungler.